so I'm coming to you today with another video. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, as you can see, I'm in the bathroom. I'm going to be moisturizing my braids today and I'm just going to walk you guys through how I moisturize my hair while it's in braids or in this protective style. If you do have a protective style, it is always good to moisturize your hair and it's a good time to moisturize your hair when it's in braids. So I'm sure you guys have heard of this trend going around on YouTube. I am doing the rice water. So as you can see, I do have um, the rice in there. Um, it's been sitting for a couple hours now. I had it sit overnight too. And then I also put an orange peel in there because this stinks. I don't know if you guys ever smell rice water, but it stinks. So I put an orange peel in there to see how it would um, smell. So I haven't um, smelt it yet, but oh, it smells good. It smells good with the orange in there, orange peel. So what I did is I got just some white rice from the store, not really Pacific, just the dollar white rice. I didn't want to spend a lot on white rice. And then I got this mason jar. You can use any type of mason jar or anything that has a lid to it that you can like, I would put it in a glass, don't put it in plastic, but I would put it in glass. I did clean it, strain it just so it's not sitting in dirt dirty rice and then I got a um, spray bottle just a dollar spray bottle to where I can just go in and start moisturizing so you guys stay tuned I'm gonna pretty much spray my hair and then I'm gonna oil it with my um, with my little mix I'm almost out so I need to make some more so this is amla oil castor oil lavender oil and avocado oil and um i just pretty much mix it in there and then i just go between my oh this is leaking i go between my braids and i just like oil it up so stay tuned and then i'm just gonna um spray moisturize and then the omelet the oil that i do use because i know i did get questions on that before um this is the omelet oil I use. So this is my second bottle. As you can see, I haven't even opened it yet. Um, the other one, I got the omelet oil, hair oil gold collection one. <clears throat> and that's what's in here. And it does have a pretty strong scent and it does make your hair smell really good. It also darkens your hair too. So it's like a natural um, hair coloring and it darkens your hair over time. But be careful, I don't oil my hair before I go to sleep because this will stain your pillowcases, your clothes as well. So be careful, I just oil in the morning. So during the day my um, scalp absorbs it, the hair absorbs it really well before I do go to sleep. So yeah, this is pretty much it. So I'll definitely, um, and then I can show you guys the castor oil I use. I put this castor oil in there. I just see I'm almost out, which I'll probably just finish it off and put the rest in there. But this is the castor oil that I use. Um, the lavender oil that I use. This is the lavender oil that I use. No Pacific kind. I just think if you go to the store, any store that has oils, you can get this. This is like $3. And then I just put like maybe seven drops of this in there and then I just get the avocado oil that's in the cooking aisle with all the rest of the oils and I just mix it all together boom 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 and then done so stay tuned you guys I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video you're gonna see me pour well you're not gonna see me pour it in there but I'm gonna go ahead and put the rice water into the spray bottle um, get it spritzed get it all oiled up and then I'll be back to pretty much in the video with you guys okay like you might need someone to remind you still believes don't forget i'm not so far from home don't forget i'm not so far from home because when it's you my heart feels it too
y'all. So I am done um, spraying my hair. I was about to say watering my hair. I pretty much was, but I'm done spraying my hair. As you can see, I did change the bottle. These, I love these bottles and I need to find some more. They're hard to find here. So I need to probably go on Amazon. But um, these distribute the water really good throughout your hair. I love the misting of it. So these are a good water bottle to use. Um, as you see, I did go ahead and oil my hair. Um, I'm also, I also wrapped it up in this, in this so it could like really absorb really good. And plus I'm about to go work out too. And I love oiling my hair. I love moisturizing, moisturizing my hair before I go work out because my pores on my head open up really good. So that's a good way for to get the blood circulating because that's when your hair grows. And also when those pores open up and get that moisture in there on your scalp, on your cuticles, especially your ends too. You gotta make sure your ends are staying moisturized because that's how your hair is gonna grow. You know, make sure you're taking care of your ends, clipping them, staying on top of them. But that is pretty much um, how to keep your hair moisturized. And I think keeping them, keeping them in braids and in like protective styles is a good way to get your hair growing. So yeah, this is pretty much what I do to moisturize my hair. I just lock it up, um, put that moisturizer on it, and then I'm good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> And then I'll be back with more videos. I hope you guys have a good day and stay blessed. Bye.